Okay, in this lesson, we are going to look at this table. Yeah, let us read the instruction. The instruction says, Lahir, Lahir, Wahfaz. Lahir, Wahfaz. Lahir means observe. Observe the following word. Or observe the following uh, table. And wa and Ehfaz means memorize. So here you need to memorize the word that you see here. Okay, what, what is this table actually? So this is the singular and plural in Arabic. But in Arabic, not only we have singular and plural, but we also have uh, the concept of dual too. Yeah. So the first look at the first column. Yeah, the first column here it is called. Iqra'u, read after me. Al Mufrad, Al Mufrad, Al Mufrad, which means singular. Yeah, one or singular. We say Al Mufrad, and then we have Al Muthanna. Al Muthanna. Al Muthanna means dual. So if you are referring to two, then it is called Al Muthanna. And the last word is Al Jama. Al Jama'u. Or you can just say Al Jama. Al Jama, which means plural. So what is this Mufrad, Muthanna, wa Al Jama? Mufrad, if yeah, this is uh, the word. Uh, that uh, you are using to refer to a single uh, a single object or a single person then the word is called mufrad if you are referring to two two people or two objects then the word is called muthanna yeah muthanna two dual and if it is referring to plural and the, the uh, and plural in arabic means three and above so when it is three and above, of course, two is also considered as plural. But in grammar, the term that we use to refer to two is muthanna, and jama is used to refer to three and above. It is called jama, yeah, three and above. Uh, so let us look at some examples. Okay, we look at the first column, which is uh, the singular words, the mufrad words. So these are all the words that uh, the, the words from our hiwar or from our conversation. Okay, the first word is. Dars, dars, dars. So the last letter, actually the last letter uh, has a symbol, but the symbol uh, will change from uh, time to time, from location to location, therefore we skip the symbol. So you just uh, pronounce this as dars, dars, dars. Yeah? And what is dars? Dars is a lesson. We call it dars. So dars is one lesson. Next one is kitab. Kitab. So similar to the first word, the last letter, ba. It actually it has a symbol, but here we remove the symbol so that you just pronounce it, pronounce it as kitab, kitab. Yeah. But do not put this. Do not put a sukun. This is wrong. Yeah. So uh, in the books, you can you will see uh, they write it as kitab, kitabun, or kitaban, or kitabin, or just kitabu. So this ending will change from time to time. That is why. For this lesson, we purposely uh, remove all of the symbols. So we have dars, we have kitab, which means a book. Kitab is a book. So this is any book. You call it kitab, reading book especially. Yeah, kitab is a book. Uh, next word is majalla, majalla, majalla. So here again, the ta, the last letter, actually it has a symbol. And if you read the symbol, if you read the symbol, so this letter is a very special letter. This is called the Ta Marbuta. The shape is like this or it's like this if it is connected. So this Ta, if read, if it is read together with the symbol, then you have to read it as uh, with the Ta sound, T sound. Majalla Tu or Majalla Ta or Majalla T. But if you skip the symbol of that letter, then you have to produce the Ha sound or the H sound. Yeah? We say majalla, majalla instead of majallat. No, that should be majalla. Yeah. So we say majalla. And what is majalla? Majalla is majalla is a magazine. A magazine we call it majalla. In Malay you say majalla. So in Malay we do not have this the shadda part, but in Arabic you have to read this part. So we say majalla tun instead of majalla. Majalla. Yeah. Majalla. Next word is maktaba, 
Maktabat, Maktabatun, or you can say Maktaba, which means a library. I have also mentioned that this word can also be used to refer to a bookstore. We call it a Maktaba. Or a stationery store, they call it Maktaba as well. Next word is Faida. Faida, uh, benefit, benefit. A benefit, you call it Faida. So these are uh, <coughs> some examples of uh, Mufrad words, singular. Now, how do you say two? Instead of there's a lesson, you want to say two lessons, two books, two majalla, two maktaba, and two faida. What do you do? Okay, so this is the rule. In order for you to say two, the rule is very simple. You need to add these two letters, alif and non, at the end of the word. Yeah, so basically, you take the word, the mufrad word, dars, and you add alif and non to the word. So it becomes darsan. Yeah, so look at the words again. Darsan, dal, and ra, and sin. This is the original letter or the original word. Dars, one lesson. And here you want to make it two, then you add alif and non. And what about the symbols or the vowels? So the, the sin, previously we do not see any symbol. Yeah, previously we do not see any symbol. Now, uh, by having this alif, you have to put a uh, fatha. Because that is the only suitable vowel point or vowel for the alif. Yeah, so we say darsan. And what about the non? The non is always with a kasra. We say darsani. Darsani. Yeah, make sure you read this part with a long sound. Darsani. Don't just say darsan. Darsan. No, that is wrong. Darsani. But normally when we uh, say this word, we don't we don't read this part. We say darsan, which means two lessons. Darsan. What about the other word? Kitab. So again, the same thing. You add alif and non. So kitab plus alif non becomes kitaban. Kitabani. So this is how you write it. Kitabani. Kitab, one book. And with this alif and non, ani, it becomes two books. Kitabani. Kitabani. What about majalla? A magazine. You want to say two magazines. So it is the same. You add alif and Non, yeah, you add alif non. But remember about this star, I have mentioned this just now. This star, yeah, when it is uh, when when you you do not read the, 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 the vowel, then it is with a H sound. We see majallah. But now what happens when you join this star to the alif and non? When you join that star to the alif non, majallah. So this is the ta. Just now, this is how it looks like. But when you join it to the alif and non, it becomes the normal ta. Yeah? So since it now becomes a normal ta, then you have to read the T sound. Therefore, we say majallatani. Majallatani and not majallah majallahani. No, majallahani is wrong. Majallatan to majallah or to magazines. What about maktaba? Maktaba is similar to majallah just now. You add alif and non, it becomes maktaba tani. Uh, and not maktabahan no it becomes maktabatani so maktaba one library maktabatani with this alif and non it becomes two libraries maktabatan maktaba maktabatan and finally the word faida uh, the benefit a benefit one benefit you want to say two benefits then you add alif and non so it becomes faidatan faidatan yeah so this is how we change from mufrad to musanna simply by adding Alif and non. Alright? So, dars, darsan, kitab, kitaban, majalla, majallatan, maktaba, maktabatan, and faida, faidatan. Alright? So, this is about musanna. You add alif and non. Uh, but, actually, there is another way, yeah? To change to musanna. Of course, the first method is by adding alif and non. But, sometimes, you have to use the second method. So, now, uh, I'm going to show you the second method of changing this uh, mufrad to Musanna. The second method is you add instead of alif and non, you add ya and non. Again, I repeat, instead of adding alif and non, you add ya and non. And when you add ya and non, what about the rest? What about the vowel? The vowel is similar to what we we have seen in alif and non. So the previous letter will have a fatha a, ain, and the non will have a kasra. So you will read, you will end the word with aini, aini. So for example, the word darsani. 
Sometimes you say Darsani, sometimes it is written Darsaini, but uh, in other times you will see the word is written instead of Darsani, they wrote it Darsaini. So when you see Darsaini, Aini, so this part, Aini, what does it mean? It means two as well, yeah? So it is either Darsani or Darsaini. Darsani, Darsaini. What about Kitabani? The same thing. Kitabani, two books. Sometimes it is also written as Kitabaini. Kitabaini. Instead of Kitabani, it becomes Kitabaini, two books as well. Majallatani is similar. So we say Majallatani and Majallataini. Majalla Taini. Majalla Taini. Two magazines. Majalla Taini. Maktabatani. Maktabatani becomes, can you guess? Maktabataini. The same thing. You replace the alif and non to a uh, with ya and non. Maktabataini. Maktabataini. Maktabatani. Maktabataini. Two maktaba. Two libraries. And the last word is Faidatani. It becomes, sometimes it is written Faidata, Faidataini, Faidataini. Yeah. So these are the two ways of uh, changing Mufrad to uh, Musanna. Either by adding Alif and Nun or by adding Ya and Nun. If uh, in, the quest in the questions, normally when we ask you to, to change from uh, Mufrad to Musanna, normally you will just need to use the first method by adding the alif and non yeah so the second one this is uh of course when you learn later when you learn the grammar topics uh, of the musan of musanna then you will you will you will be able to know when should i use the alif and non darsani the alif and non version or and when should i use the ya and non version so this is uh, related to grammar yeah at the moment we are not interested in explaining that i just want you to know that to change mufra to musanna you can simply add alif and nun or you can simply add ya and nun. That is for musanna, uh, for the dual, dual words. And finally, we come to plural or we call it uh, al jama, right? So for jama, what about jama words? Uh, okay, what about jama words? Okay, uh, at, at the moment, uh, this is what I'm going to say to you. For jama, you need to memorize. Again, I repeat, for jama words, you need to memorize. So let us look at the mufrad and jama. You can now ignore the musanna part. Yeah, just look at the mufrad and jama. Uh, dars the lesson a lesson dars the plural is durus, durus. So dars one lesson durus is uh, lessons. Yeah, many lessons you call it durus. Second word kitab a book it becomes kutub, kutub. And of course, for this, for this word, the ending, uh, the, the, the last letter comes with a vowel, but we do not put it here. We just keep the vowel. So you just read durus instead of durusun, durusan, durusin. You just say durus. Enough. Kutub, same thing. You just say kutub instead of kutubun, kutuban, or kutubin. Yeah? We say kutub. Kutub means books. So kitab, kutub. The next word is majalla, one magazine. A magazine majalla and the plural for majalla is majallat 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 which means magazines plural jama with majallat what about maktaba maktaba library a library it becomes maktabat 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 libraries and finally the word faida Faida one benefit it becomes fawaid 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 many or a few benefits okay so this is uh, about jama again I repeat for jama you need to memorize therefore uh, I encourage everybody to have your own uh, notebook and write down all of this mufrad and jama so you should have uh, your list your own list of mufrad and jama every time you see every time you learn uh, a new uh, jama word you put it in that list for example kitab what is the jama for kitab kutub yeah so next time you need to study uh, mufrad and jama you just go to your list kitab kutub and of course you can put the vowel uh, at the moment yes put put the vowel so that you know how to read the words 
correctly but in the future if you already know oh, this is kitab then you do not need to write all of these vowels kutub yeah at the moment write them okay so this is about uh, mufrad musanna and also jama'ah